guys and welcome to another flight deck to sim tutorial today we're going to be looking at visual approaches we're going to do a visual approach onto runway 01 in Puerto Ventura we're currently holding at the initial approach fix for that runway and that's tender and you can find this chart online with the airport code which is uh, Golf Charlie Foxtrot Victor so a little bit of background information about visual approaches so a visual approach will be flown um, if we want to make a, a quite a shortened approach onto the runway uh, conditions you need to have a lovely day like we have today in Puerto Ventura you've got to be in visual contact with the ground and you've got to be uh, able to see the runway on the latter stages of the approach before you can accept a vision approach okay a bit of a misconception is that we simply uh, once we fly disconnect the autopilot in order for it to fly it manually you can do it's a hell of a lot of fun but we'd actually recommend you use the automation uh, during the entire phases to increase your capacity to lower your workload now how can we set up for a visual approach? Well one way of doing it is to modify the existing arrival uh, into the airport. So we currently have uh, ILS Zulu 01 and this is what it looks like on the chart. Okay, So after tender, uh, stepping through these points, it's quite a long approach. Uh, it goes onto a 12 mile arc off the VOR onto a 12 mile final. Now ideally, uh, if it's very busy you would fly this but you wouldn't want to do the entire procedure because it's a waste of time, waste of fuel and money. Uh, and I, and typically in real life you didn't accept a visual approach you get a shortcut uh, on either by radar vectors one way of doing this we can modify the track here so if you look at this point here uh, uh, Fox Rock India 01 if we take that for the Lima uh, after the Lima Tango Echo 36 there we go and execute we've already massively shortened the approach now we'd actually recommend this is the way you do it so you modify any existing procedure in the FMC and fly that now I'm going to actually do uh, another way uh, and it's one way you do so sometimes if you go into an airport there might not be a published procedure if you go to the last page on all the FMC database you just get the runway points now if you select 01 which is the one we're going to be doing today you get this box come up here runway extension and flight path angle now what we do we create a four nautical mile point that defaults a three degree angle because that's the standard ILS uh, pitch angle at three degrees if we execute that there we go it's now created this RX point here and what we could simply do is bring that to the top of flight after leaving the hole at tender and execute now ideally we don't want to do this because it's more than a 90 degree turn so uh, you can either create a waypoint off this existing waypoint uh, because I know Fuerteventura Ventura reasonably well I know there's a waypoint here called Bamku so what I could do I can select that the legs page I type in Bamku and then after tender we'll put in this waypoint and then bring RX01 to the top there we go here's a nice little approach for us to fly visually uh, using Bamco and RX01 using LNAV to guide us and we can use VNAV as well to help us descend uh, onto that profile so that's pretty much it that's how you set it up in the FMC uh, everything else I've already completed we'll just do the landing performance I've checked it in the OPT app and I'm happy that it's going to be flat 30 and we can use water brake 3 which I've already got set uh, on the uh, water brake setting so that's it we're pretty much ready to fly the approach so going back to the maps display what i could do is now route direct to uh Bamku. so what atc might do in real life is uh, flight data sim you're cleared the visual approach from my zero one report on final now we could actually fly this anywhere we like but we want to use lnav and uh, just get us towards Bamku. you could use a heading fly it manually whatever you want to do so vnav is already telling us to send because it's got to get this flight path angle of 1406 at rx01 so let's descend that now it's a visual approach so we can put up whatever we like and what i'm going to do is set 600 feet just initially go to level change to get back onto this uh, vnav profile now why have i set 600 feet if you look at the minimums i've set 583 feet now what is this altitude it's 500 feet above the airport elevation which is 83 and this is just basically what i've set because i'd like to be stabilized this by this point on the approach all right, so now the aircraft's going to descend in uh, level change to 203 knots down to 600 feet. Uh, looking at the profile, it's slowly going to come into view. And uh, now we're going to initiate a descent with Troy's hand. So it's going to go to initially uh, 240 knots. Uh, let's do it manually, but it wants to make Bamku at 194 knots. So I'm just going to keep it at 205, wait for the profile to come back. Now, in regards to configuration, uh, we'll go for uh, flat one, flat five very soon. And then uh, at Bamku, we're going to select uh, gear down flat 15 on base and then turning final, we'll select the, the landing flap as well. So we can aid our situational awareness. I would have usually have done this on the uh, setup. So I'll just put a fixed ring in now for runway 01. And I'll put in a four mile ring and a 10 mile ring just for my situational awareness. And slash 10. So 
We're already turning well within the 10 miles. There we go, onto a 4 mile final. So the profile's coming in nicely at Bamku. The FMC wants us at 2,335 feet, so that's working quite nicely. Uh, now I can engage VNAV, uh, approaching the profile, which I've done. And it's going to go to FMC speed. I don't want to do 240 knots because it's still in the descent phase. So what I'm going to do is open the speed window and select the up speed. Now, because we're in the latter stages of the approach, it's gone to VNAV path uh, because it's routing direct to a waypoint which it recognises on the approach, which is uh, Banku or the RX-01. So it's now going to fly this path extremely accurate. Now, I want to start slowing down now. Uh, so we're below 250 knots. We can initially select flat one, and then we can bank, bug the one speed. And just like with that non-position approach, LNAV and VNAV is going to fly us so a very nice uh, profile after Banku onto the final approach. And we're complying with the visual approach uh, restrictions. We're visual with the terrain. And if you look in the distance, if I zoom in a bit, there's the airport here. So we have to be uh, in view at all times below that at all times. Excellent. So approaching Bamku, speed's slowly coming back. The aircraft's slowly descending on the profile, which is good. But I want to go a little bit slower. Uh, so we could either use speed brake. Uh, we don't advise using flaps to slow down, but because of our configuration and where we are, I'm going to select flat flight, which will aid in the deceleration of the aircraft. And I'm going to set 180 knots initially for the base turn, uh, which is the IKO recommended speed for a base turn on a, a Category C performance aircraft. So, absolutely, everything's doing, looking quite nicely. We've got LNAV, VNAV. Uh, in reality, you could disconnect your autopilot order from the flight manually, uh, but we don't really want to turn inside four miles, otherwise it's going to be quite a tight find. So four miles is kind of like what we recommend for flying a visual approach. And that's why we create that RX point as well. Excellent, so uh, the approach checklist I've said was already completed, so now we're approaching that point, we're just going to keep 180 knots, flat five, keep it descending quite nicely. Uh, we'll pretend we've been clear to land as well, so we'll turn on all the landing lights as well. So approaching Bamku, another two miles to go, continuously looking at that approach. Now if you were to lose uh, sight of the airport or um, you flew into IMC conditions, you're no longer flying a visual approach, so you'd have to then uh, get out of it. The best way to do that is pretty much climb straight up to the MSA. Uh, so the MSA in this sector is 3,100 feet, so that way you're gonna short terrain clearance. Excellent, so we're just turning base uh, from Bamku to RX-01. It's quite a few miles still, nine miles. So I'm not gonna configure gear down flat 15 just yet. I'm just gonna match the heading bug. So looking at the runway, we're now flying a, a bit of a base leg. It's quite a long base, quite far, uh, far out of the airport. We're still doing a nice uh, constant descent uh, CDA. We haven't left off since, uh, leveled off since leaving 5,000 feet. So we'll just start reducing the speed to the flat five speed. Um, you might see this little yellow flag flashing here. Now that's basically telling you, there it is, that the auto throttle is uh, unable to give you that speed. So it's closed the thrust levers. Uh, now it is, so the thrust is going to increase, so the yellow flag will uh, stop flashing. So that's what that means. Excellent. So we're approaching the RX.5 miles. Now we can start about thinking about configuring for landing. So uh, that's where we go down to so gear down, uh, flat 15 match the speed and then we do the landing check the flaps so start switches there's already a continuous uh, recall we check speed rake make sure we have an arm green light verify we've got the landing gear down with three green and auto brake is three it's quite a, a long runway but it has a huge displaced threshold which you'll see when i turn on the final so uh, that's now set now we're just holding on the landing flap and i'll select the landing flap which is flat 30 uh, as soon as we turn final go so the puppies are coming into view they're probably going to show four whites because we're uh, descending a beam near the runway now when we turn final that will hopefully turn to two reds two whites as well uh, approaching the rx point so another minute to go two and a half miles i've got a little bit of a headwind which is going to help us uh, with speed excellent so we're still looking at the runway all looking good now we can only turn on to final uh, if we're plus or minus uh, 400 feet so the top of the white arc if this is too uh, here it means we're too high it's going to probably mean we're not going to make that final turn on to approach so the vnav's doing a fantastic job it's bang on the approach so just like with the non-precision approach tutorial i showed you last time uh, you need to agree on missed approach altitude which will set us just 3,000 feet 
Okay, so turning final, select the landing flap and we'll bug VRF plus 5 because the uh, headwind's less than 10 knots. And then we'll just set the final approach heading as well, which is 066. 006. Then complete the landing checklist, so we'll go flaps, 30 green lights, landing lights there off, we have been clear to land. And there you go, look, LNAV, VNAV puts you on a nice final. And now is a good point to disconnect, so just before you disconnect, make sure you've got the uh, flight directors recycled. So disconnected, now we can set the missed approach altitude at 3,000 feet, and then we can recycle the flight directors off on. There we go, now the inventor would go around, we've got the guidance One as well. Down. It's got the thrust setting a bit high on speed, so I'm just going to correct that. Pappies are looking good, two reds, two whites, get yourself comfortable. Correcting on centre line, and we'll keep it descending. So speed's a little bit fast. Uh, getting a little bit high as well, so I need to pitch down. Uh, good target rate of descent if you're high is a thousand feet, but no more than that. Once you're back on the pappies, you can correct back to it's about 700 feet to a 3 degree glide bar. So approaching the minimums call, that was just what we set uh, for a visual approach. Uh, it's looking good. good. We say land or go around at the minimums. And I'm going to say land. Okay, so all looking stable, keep descending. There you go, you can see that huge displaced threshold we have in Point Aventura. We're just going to fly overhead the VOR, which you can see on this place for sure. So three reds, don't want to get too low, it's the correct. Uh, reduce the uh, rate of uh, descent and then back onto two reds, two whites, so we can start descending about 700 feet per minute. Uh, back to three reds, so now too low. Make a nice early correction, don't want to keep descending. There we go, two reds, two whites, hopefully in a second, still a little bit low. Quickly fix that. I'm way low on speed, so I'm not keeping my scan going. That's the important there. Get the speed back in control. 40. And then over the threshold. 30. 30 20. We close 20. the thrust levers. 10. And we check. And hold. Oh, very firm landing. As soon as we touch down, select the reverse thrust. Go the nose wheel. And then we can start landing. Speed brakes now. Extended. So I've got the second D10 reverse. And then we can just start braking manually. And there's the first exit. Cancel the reverse. Stop and make this exit here. Whoa, stop. There we go. And that's it, guys. That's pretty much a visual approach. So you can see there when you're flying manually the importance of keeping your scan going. Um, so obviously if you're too much thrust as well, you get the config warning horn. Uh, if you select too much thrust, um, you're going to get too high of speed. But there you go. I forgot to add the thrust. That's why the speed got low. But that was pretty much it. That's how you fly a visual approach. And I'm just going to bring the aircraft to a stop. Excellent, so I hope you enjoyed, uh, enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions about the procedure, feel free to leave anything in the comments section. Again, this is just one way of flying a visual approach. Uh, some other operators might want you to do something differently. Uh, but this is what uh, our, um, we advise to teach people uh, when we do the visual approaches. So if you enjoy the video, I uh, really appreciate the like and uh, any nice comments would be appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you again soon in a few more days for another tutorial. Uh, take, care, uh, take care and I'll see you again soon.